Welcome to Mrs. Cohen's class away from class, guys. We'll watch the presentation just like this last weekend. If you need to stop and take notes, go ahead and just pause the slide. And today we are talking about worms, our best friends and our worst enemies. So far, guys, we've covered two of the nine phyla we're going to cover over the animal kingdom. Today we're going to cover the next three, so listen up. All three phyla of worms, platyhelminthes, nematoda, and annelida, are invertebrates with bilateral symmetry. They're also all narrow in the body and lack legs. If you guys see something with legs, it's most likely an insect larva, not a worm. Worms also have amazing regeneration abilities, which means they're able to regrow lost body parts. That brings us to phylum platyhelminthes, the flatworms. The vast majority of platyhelminthes are going to be parasites. Remember your terms parasite and host from when we talked about bacteria and viruses. This includes the tapeworms, which just love to take up residence in our digestive systems, but it also includes the planarians, which are free living and not parasites. Most importantly, platyhelminthes has added a new organ system to the mix. This group has the first advanced nervous system, giving them an actual brain. From this point, each of the phyla we talk about will have a brain. The tapeworms have an extremely complex life cycle that often includes multiple hosts. Here we see a tapeworm infecting the intestine of a dog. As the tapeworm matures, it drops off eggs, known as proglottids. The eggs are released in the fecal material, which then help to fertilize grass. When a rabbit or other small creature eats the grass, it ingests the proglottids, which live inside its intestine. These don't harm this intermediate host. They're solely until a dog or a wolf comes and eats the animal, thus releasing the tapeworm back into its original host. There are lots of tapeworms that have an even more complex life cycle, sometimes in four or five different animals in its entire life. In this video clip, we see one of the platyhelminths, known as Daliella. In this organism, you can clearly see the sac gut towards the top, as well as the eye spots of the organism as it moves across the screen. Also, when it's stretched out and not bunched up with its muscular movement, take a look and see if you can spot the esophagus leading into the sac gut. Coming to our next phylum, phylum Neobatoda, we see the roundworms. Although these guys are small, they are found everywhere. There's very few places on our planet you can't go dig up some dirt and find a nematode. The new organ system they have is a much more advanced digestive system, the one-way or tube system. This means they have both a mouth and an anus, and food travels in one direction through. It is much more efficient than the sac gut system we've seen until now. In our next video, we see one of the nematodes. As I said, these animals are small but extremely fast. Here we see one moving quickly through debris. Our final phylum is phylum Annelida, the segmented worms. This is probably the phylum of worms we're all most familiar with. It includes the earthworms, which we can find in our own backyards, leeches, everyone's favorite, and a group called the marine polychaetes. You can see one pictured here in the upper right-hand corner. Polychaetes all live in the ocean. We have another new organ system to add to the list. The annelids have a closed circulatory system. This means that their blood flows through arteries and veins. The primary defining feature of the annelids is their segments. Their bodies are broken up into small, identical sections that are linked together to make a long body. These next two videos show annelids. In both, you should be able to clearly see the digestive tube move through the body. As these organisms move across your screen, take a look for a specialized structure on the sides called CD. These are used for movement along with the same muscular movement we see in platyhelminthes. That brings us to the end of our presentation on worms. I hope you guys enjoyed it and have a great time with the rest of your day.